Next up, we have a presentation from Locality Planning Energy with the ticker code LPE to tell us more about the company's rapidly growing electricity business. Today, we are joined by non-executive chairman, Justin Pettit. Good morning, Justin. Hi, Jane, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, um, and thank you everyone for, for listening. So um, LPE, we're a, a fast growing electricity provider. Um, so anyone who lives in Queensland and New South Wales and are not using LPE as their provider, um, you should check us out. Uh, we're the first to market, um, uh, tech, we have a first to market technology with regards to our shared solar. Actually, I'm, oh, there you go, perfect. Uh, we're first to market with, uh, regards, uh, with regards to technology for our shared solar for apartment living um, and also our uh, carbon neutral uh, centralised hot water systems, which I'll, I'll talk a little bit about. I'm sorry, can you go two slides, um, Jane? Yeah, that's it. Um, we're, we're currently selling um, uh, electricity, hot water, solar and battery systems in, in Queensland and New South Wales. And we predominantly, uh, a large part of our customer base is based around the strata communities. Uh, could you just go to the next slide, please? Uh, we're the sixth largest um, uh, provider in Queensland on the Energex network. So only 1.2% of the market, but as you can see, there's a lot of room and growth um, for us to move in. And we're getting a lot of inbound calls now from uh, customers wanting to join LPE. Next slide. As far as the, the size of the, the market, the electricity market, um, particularly in our part of the world, is huge. Uh, not only is $13 billion a year um, used or, or consumed in electricity, but in the strata market, which is a, an area that we're experts in, around just under a billion dollars a year. So that's massive. And for us to be able to bring products to this part of the market um, has been extraordinary and, and, and very well taken. Next slide, thanks. Uh, I'll just go through our, our main products. Um, embedded networks, so for those who don't understand embedded networks, if you take an apartment building, every uh, apartment faces the grid or the network separately, typically, um, and they all pay their own network charges along with energy charges. What we do is we put one meter in between, we aggregate everybody together, and we put one meter in between all the customers or in the apartments and the grid, and that meter is a business meter. So there's a significant reduction in network charges. Instead of having 100 network charges, we have one, and we distribute those savings to the end customer. So from a customer perspective, um, there's really no change. They get a bill from their energy provider, which is us. They get treated as an individual. They're not uh, aggregated. They're aggregated from a metering perspective, but certainly not from a, uh, an end customer perspective. Next slide. Um, our flagship project that we're, we're really rolling out aggressively now that we've got uh, network approval is shared solar. Again, those living in apartments haven't had the same opportunities that people living in homes uh, or single dwellings have had and benefiting off solar energy. Uh, we've, we've come up with a way to develop building scale uh, solar systems. So we put as big as solar system we can on the roof. It goes through a single inverter and then it goes through a, a proprietary um, diverter that's made by Alum Energy. So we're the only ones in Australia, or Alum are the only ones who have, are making and develop this um, diverter, which will divert solar electricity in real time to uh, apartments and customers in an apartment building. So we have the exclusive rights to supply and install that, um, that Alum product, the diverter in Queensland and New South Wales for the next two years. So. It's a great solution. The end customer gets to access solar electricity during the day. They get to save a little money on their electricity costs. Um, we make a better, a better margin, the body corporate are happy and the grid's happy. So um, it really is a, a, a triple win. Next slide. Centralized hot water is also a big part of what we do, again, in apartment buildings or uh, business or commercial. We're, we're heating the hot water with solar energy during the day and, and distributing that hot water at night. So um, a lot of our systems are 100% off grid um, and thus carbon neutral. So using solar energy to heat that hot water. And of course we do uh, retail electricity supply, homes, businesses, 
all through Queensland and New South Wales. And, and that's a, a very fast growing um, a part of our business as well. As far as our, our past, um, I've got a couple of slides talking about you know, customer growth and financials, but you can see here since we listed in 2016, our growth has been, been quite good, around 30% per annum in customer growth year on year. Uh, we set a target of 10,000 customers last financial year and we achieved and, and exceeded that target. Uh, next slide. But most importantly, we've um, had our maiden profit. So whilst customers, customer base has been growing, revenues have been growing. And as you can see on the left there compared to last year, um, if I was to put up all the revenue numbers, you'll be able to find a presentation on the ASX on our website. But revenue growth has been strong. Uh, operating costs have been more or less uh, low or levelized. And because of our um, conservative uh, stance on wholesale energy hedging, uh, we've been able to turn a profit this year. So everything's starting to go in the right direction and revenues growing and customer base in growing. As far as the um, investor opportunity, it's, it's important to point out that even with all of this good news um, financially, there's still a great opportunity for investors. Um, if I take our, our market cap or our EV today and also take the value of a customer, uh, we're trading at about a 32% discount to the value of a, of a customer. So our EV is about $8 million less than what our breakup value, I suppose, you, you look at it. So this is just purely based on customers, doesn't take into account the future growth and, of course, um, shared solar. Next slide. Our growth strategy moving forward, we really want to build on the FY21. Uh, we have uh, 300 um, uh, shared solar systems that we're looking to deploy throughout the financial year. And it really does overcome uh, apartment living's greatest barrier um, to solar electricity, who, who accesses the roof and who pays for the capital up front. So we do pay for the capital up front and we enter into a long-term 15-year contract with the building and we recover that capital over time. So from an end customer's perspective, they get their electricity bill. There's a line item for grid electricity. There's a line item for solar electricity that they've bought um, during the month. So it's a, it really is a well-received product. Centralized hot water is also something that we're um, aggressively rolling out. Uh, and along with embedded networks, um, that really is our spine of the company. And we're seeing a lot of, uh, not only are we working with a lot of developers, but we're also seeing a lot of existing embedded networks that are being managed by uh, the body corporate or a billing agent coming across to LPE for a, a lot better experience. Um, we handle everything and we're also an, an energy retailer so we can supply all of the grid needs, particularly, let's go to the next slide, particularly as uh, a lot of those embedded customers move out of embedded networks into homes or apartments that aren't embedded. So we have around 6,000 customers a year moving out of our embedded network buildings. So we want to capture those customers as, as retail clients. So really there's, there's nothing in the electricity space that, that we can't supply, whether it be grid, solar and or batteries. Next slide there. Here's a corporate snapshot. So really tight uh, capital structure. Um, Damien and myself founded the, the company back in 2013 and listed it in 2016. And we still own uh, a quarter of the, of the company. Uh, we hit our guidance last year of 10,000 customers. The financial gains uh, on FY21 compared to FY20 have been fantastic. So we're really at an inflection point. Um, I see over the next year or two, we're um, certainly poised to begin to deliver those sustainable and year on year um, earnings back to the market. Uh, and of course, the board of directors, the, the company really is run by um, our, our CEO and CFO. Um, they do a, a fantastic job, uh, Damien and Mel, of, of running the company. And um, we look forward to updating investors as, uh, as we go through this next financial year. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Justin. Um, thanks for the presentation. We've had a webinar attendee just come through. So in terms of growth, uh, is the company solely focused on organic growth within its existing business units or is LPE also looking at acquisition? 
we're, we're, we'll look at acquisitions, um, but probably to answer the question, it is organic growth. Um, we have sales teams in place and, and very strong body corporate um, relationships that we leverage on. Um, but we are open to, um, to acquisitions. It's, uh, it's always tricky when you, when you get to that stage and uh, talking about value. But, um, but yeah, we're open to, uh, open to acquisitions, but we're, 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 we're focused on organic growth. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining, Justin. Um, and of course, copy of the presentation will be available on brokerbriefing.com in the coming days.